Bailey's going to talk to us about how we end the hype and have an impact for sustainability. There we go. All right, cool. All right, End Hype Impact for Sustainability. My name is Callie Keen. I have collaborate, collaboratively designed hundreds of products with entrepreneurs and organizations of all sizes. Let's see if it's going to. Oh, yep. Yeah. So, my background is I grew up in manufacturing business. I filed prints, I experimented with CAD, I inspected aerospace parts uh, after school and in the summers. Uh, So I heard about the maker movement when I was hosting a SolidWorks training. And uh, when I first experienced maker spaces, I was a little slow to participate. Uh, it wasn't until I started volunteering that I understood that the potential and the power is with people, right? So um, now more than ever, I think that we are positioned to really to change the world, right? Uh, changing the world is difficult. I like to think of things dichotomously. So uh, we have the hubris to say, like, we have the power to change the world and make something that doesn't exist. But we also have the humility to say that we don't really know how to do it. We need to keep getting better, <laughs> right? And that's kind of where we are as, as uh, makers, right? Community collapse disorder. Uh, I hate seeing this. I think if the movement is so powerful, why are so many communities collapsing? Why are so many of our resources going away? Failure, unlike success, is fairly, fairly standardized, right? So failure is an option, right? Organizations fail by they don't build something that customers actually want. They have too many features, they have poor user experience, and they fail to deliver on expectations, right? So this is the conversation. I'm intensely passionate about my mission, right? I want to trigger a conversation that uh, is helpful, but I might, I might hurt your feelings. Right, Just be honest. So doing good does not mean doing well, right? Uh, false positivity disincentivizes our members from putting in the effort that allows us to sustain our communities, right? So end, end the hype, right? There's a difference between optimism and disinformation, right? You got to measure to improve. This is an easy thing. I run uh, entrepreneurial in incubators. If you want to improve something, measure it. Broadcast it right? It's easy. Share that data with your community. Be open, right? Doing good is not its own reward, right? If we want to keep our doors open, we need to create, it's easy to create programs that make everybody feel like we're doing good, right? But chasing feelings is not a potent strategy. Results are what uh, sustain us. So recognize those results. If we have an innovation event, what innovation did we create, right? Did we file patents? Did we did we create businesses, right? If we have a jobs program, who got a job? How much money do they earn, right? Is it worth having that job, right? Sponsors are customers. Community organizations have an entitlement problem, right? Just because we're doing good doesn't mean you can't deliver value. You have to deliver value or your customers are going to go someplace else. Money is good. Money is not the mission. Money makes the mission possible, right? Money is fuel. I like to say that money is like gasoline. It can fuel your car if you know where to go. It can also burn your life to the ground, right? A lot of spaces get money. They blow the money, and the sponsors get out of here, right? Knowledge over information. So I'm going to talk about depth. Value is an expertise and guidance, not an introduction. A lot of maker spaces is just very cursory information. Uh, that creates attendance, but it doesn't, re it doesn't yield the true results. Um, incubate amazing, right? How do we foster a community of people doing amazing things? I was just in the last session, I heard amazing things. Fantastic, right? How do we offer deep learning, deep value, right? So depth over breadth. Communities suffer from a lack of mission focus. We want to do all these cool little things, but niche communities allow for deep value and re they result in higher sustainability so like specific communities do much much better than broad communities right growth beyond sustainability uh so focusing on sustainability is kind of like focusing on not dying we want to focus on living 
right? Why not grow? Why not be better, right? And it should be difficult. If you want to change the world, right, it should be hard. Embrace the difficulty, right? Challenges are why creation is rewarding. Right? That's it. So I'm on, I'm on a ton of platforms, and uh, you can bug me, uh, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. Uh, please uh, visit my page. You can sign up for my newsletter and get similarly harassed digitally. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>